there welcome to my kitchen my name is Renee and this is my channel welcome to my curls and I love to cook I cook almost every night for my family and tonight I am making my husband's absolute favorite chicken dish and it's called chicken marengo it is so full of flavor it has wine and garlic and tomatoes and it's served over rice with your favorite crusty garlic bread it is so good and it is so simple we don't have to chop anything we don't have to prep anything it's going to be made in one skillet with some rice on the side so let's get to cooking let's make chicken marengo The ingredients you need for chicken marengo are chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I'm gonna make a dinner for three tonight. So I have three chicken breasts, and then I had a little extra piece that I'm gonna throw in there. One can of fire roasted tomatoes, and I love fire roasted in this dish. If you can't find them, you can use regular petite cut tomatoes. And my rule of thumb is one can of tomatoes per every three chicken breasts. So if you wanna double this recipe, it's easy to do so. So one can of fire roasted tomatoes, a half a cup of cooking wine. And if you don't have cooking wine or are not comfortable using cooking wine, you can certainly substitute chicken broth. One tablespoon of minced garlic. A half a teaspoon of thyme, two green onions, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, and white rice. Now, I prefer white rice. You can certainly do it over brown rice. It's entirely up to you. So here's how you cook chicken marengo. I have a skillet with sides and it is hot. I'm going to salt and pepper my chicken breast. Flip them over, do the other side. So my skillet's hot. I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in my skillet. And then I'm gonna put in my seasoned chicken. And I'm gonna let that brown for about two minutes. So let's check our chicken. See, it looks like that, and that's really all you need. You're not cooking your chicken all the way through because it's gonna to continue to cook in the dish. So flip it over and get the other side for about another two minutes. Okay, so it's been about two more minutes. My chicken is now brown on both sides. It is not cooked through, that's totally fine. So we're gonna leave it just like that. And then this is the fun part. I'm going to take my green onions and a pair of kitchen shears. I'm not going to mess up a cutting board just to cut green onions. And I'm going to cut some green onions into the skillet. Just makes it so much easier this way. And I'm, I'm only going to cut about half of my onion at this point. So I'm going to keep the ends. I'm just going to let my onions cook for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Just let that cook, don't let your garlic burn. And I'm gonna add, you know, I don't measure anything. This is my thyme, I like to roll it in my hands to release the oil, put it in my skillet, and I just wanna get my garlic cooked for about 30 seconds. I don't wanna burn it. And I'm gonna add in a half a cup of cooking wine. Oh, perfect, look at that. Oh, I love the smell when cooking wine gets added to a hot skillet like that. Oh my goodness, so good. 
I'm going to take my fire roasted tomatoes, add them into my skillet. Just kind of get everything stirred together. Not really disturbing my chicken at all. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a good little shush. Okay. Now you could add mushrooms in here if you wanted to. My husband doesn't like mushrooms. I like mushrooms, so I'm leaving them out today, but you certainly could put in mushrooms if you wanted. I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium low, and I'm gonna cover this and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So my chicken merengue has been cooking for about 20 minutes. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a stir and I'm going to flip my chicken over. And I'm going to let it continue to simmer for another 20 minutes. I have about 10 minutes left on my chicken, which is right here just simmering away so I'm gonna do my rice I like to use chicken broth in place of water when I'm making rice it just adds so much more flavor so just whatever the directions are on the box of rice that you're using you can always substitute chicken broth see my recipe calls for water and I'm just gonna use chicken broth instead I'm using five minute rice. My chicken broth is at a really good boil, so I'm gonna add in my rice. Give it a good stir. Cover it and turn off the heat. And just let it sit for five minutes. And like I said, you can use white rice, brown rice. It really is just whatever you prefer. So my rice is cooking over here. It's just gonna cook for five minutes. So I'm gonna put the finishing touches on my chicken merengue. Ooh, look at that. Oh, if you all could smell this right now, it is so good. So see how my green onions cooked down oh yum but what i'm going to do at this point i'm just going to add a little bit more salt and pepper to just get everything seasoned up just a little bit and the last bits of green onion that we kept i'm going to add them at this point just to give them some bright green color and kind of a fresh flavor from the onions being uncooked and just really just put whatever you like in there, whatever quantity suits you. Just kind of get your onions down in there, get everything stirred. Turn my chicken over. All right, and that's it for my sauce. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna put my lid back on while I get my plate together. Let's get this on a plate. I am dying to eat chicken merengue. Ooh, look at that. And my rice is ready. Okay. I'm just gonna fluff my rice a little bit. Can you see that? And it is so full of flavor because of the chicken broth. My chicken merengue, just give it a little stir. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna put rice on my plate, like that. Put a chicken breast down in there. I'm gonna put my sauce. And this is not like pasta, you don't need a ton of sauce because it's so full of flavor. 
that is about what you need for a plate. I just wish that you could be in my house right now to smell this chicken marengo. I just made my favorite crusty, garlicky, cheesy bread, and this is gonna be my dinner. Oh, it smells so good. So I hope you enjoyed staying home with me and making chicken marengo. Enjoy.